case that we're covering tonight. The U.S. Senate, we told you earlier, Representative Peter Welch is declaring victory for the Democrats. Now, in the race for the Republican nomination, here's what we know so far. Gerald Malloy leading with 44% of the vote. Christina Nolan right behind him at 38%, and Myers Mermel at 19%. That's with 67 districts reporting. And NBC5's Listrepa is following that Senate race tonight. That's right. She joins us now live from South Burlington at the primary night watch party for the political newcomer, Gerald Malloy, who has had the lead in this three person race pretty much all night long, Liz. Yeah, Brian, uh, Gerald's really just having a quiet night here watching the results come in with his wife, but it is a very tight race as we've watched the results pour in slowly uh, for the Republican Senate nomination. As you've mentioned several times so far, Democrat Peter Welch declared victory about 45 minutes after the polls closed, thanking his supporters for all of their work getting to this point. We caught up with uh, Gerald Malloy, who at last check does have a lead against challenger Christina Nolan. He is remaining off optimistic, but says he's ready to get to work in Washington. I'm so grateful uh, to each and every one of you who is here, uh, for all the Vermonters who helped us that aren't here, uh, because what we have done is be taken the first step on this primary, on the journey to honor the legacy of Patrick Leahy and preserve those Vermont values that he represented for us so well for all these decades. It's time for change. Uh, our government, uh, and this is what I've been getting over the last seven months, people are not happy with the direction the country's going in. And uh, I think what, what we need is, is strong Republican leadership. And that's what I believe I, I offer, leadership and performance that uh, has, Vermont just haven't been getting that, to, to be honest. Now, we did stop at Christina Nolan's watch party at Halverson's for about 45 minutes. She was mingling with her supporters, but she did not come out to talk with members of the media while we were there. Now, we're going to keep a close eye on this race as the results continue to come into our newsroom, and we'll keep you posted when there is a winner declared. Live in South Burlington, Lestrepa, NBC5 News.